Hello my beautiful friends, it's Mimi here today. So today's video is gonna be something a little bit different, something that actually a lot of you have requested, and it's sort of a compilation video of all my tips, or sort of like a letter to my younger self. I actually spent a few hours this morning writing down, it's not really a letter, but these are like sort of the points, I ripped the page, but there's like pages and pages of like notes, and I thought I'd share it with you. I mean, these are not the only things I would share to my younger self, but obviously I can't make this video be an hour long. So I sort of tried to pick out the most important things I would share with my younger self to help my younger self live a happier, lighter life and not have to go through the same hardship, struggles, suffering or mistakes. So let's begin. Accept your beauty. And what I mean by that, when I was younger, I struggled a lot with breakouts. I think when I turned 15 years old, up to 15, I had pretty good skin. And then when I turned 15, it's like something happened. I started breaking out all the time. And I remember spending hours and hours looking at myself in the mirror, picking at those pimples, wishing I had perfect skin, literally hours and m that turned into weeks, that turned into months, and buying all these products and creams and trying to change my skin skin to be something else or somebody else and then eventually years later you know I changed my diet and sort of changed a few things about myself that cleared my skin and then I was already in my late like mid-20s I realized now I'm getting wrinkles so this whole lesson taught me that pimples will become wrinkles <laughs> and what I mean by that is that there will always be something in yourself, superficial, that you can pick at and not like at and try to change, whether it's your nose that you don't like about your face, whether it's your eyebrows, your eyes, your cheeks, you're too big, too small, you know. There will always be something superficial that we can pick at. And for that reason, I realized that I should always put the emphasis on my inner beauty and not my external beauty because the inner beauty is what will always make me beautiful on the outside. Outside. Whether I have wrinkles, whether I have pimples, won't really make a difference. There's nothing more attractive than a person who has a beautiful heart because that person has sort of like a warm, attractive energy that attracts everyone around him to that person. So that is one of the biggest things I've learned in my life is that beauty comes from the inside. And I know it sounds like a cliche, but it truly does because if you really work on your inner world and make it beautiful, you will never have to be afraid of getting old and getting wrinkles or nothing happening to your exterior because you will always be beautiful here on the inside and that's one thing that we can actually control we cannot control the outside but we can always control the inside so accept your beauty accept your background where you come from what you look like because you are you you have to own yourself so it's sort of like one thing and I, I gave a lot of messages in that one thing but truly it's just accepting your unique beauty and owning it meditate and that's a really simple one that i wish i knew earlier and I, if i started earlier i would have been so much calmer so much more peaceful by now and also i would have saved myself from unnecessary suffering meditation now has been proven not only to make a person less anxious less depressed but more calm more peaceful more present it has also proven to heal us from disease and i mean i'm gonna link some articles down below about it but there's so much research out there just go out and do your own research but basically what meditation does is it activates a parasympathetic nervous system in our brain what that means that sounds very complicated but usually that only activates when we're sleeping so usually when we sleep that's why sleep is very important is we're actually healing in our sleep so there's not many things you can do to heal yourself there's sleep there's things like yoga or like being in nature and meditation is one of them it's extremely powerful by the way I want to just mention that meditation itself is not easy and it's not supposed to be a relaxing activity it's actually a very hard activity just just like a big cliche because a lot of people try to meditate and they say well I didn't find it relaxing I'm all stressed and there's more clutter in my head than before no there's not more clutter you're just aware of it when you meditate but the after effect of meditation is being more peaceful is being more calm is being more creative is being more present there's just so many amazing things that come out of it but the best thing I would say is becoming equanimous and equanimity is really 
having control over your reactions towards anything that happens to you. So if somebody does anything bad to you, you don't react like most people, you know, if somebody curses at you or says something bad about you, you have this reaction to defend yourself. But when you're meditating, when you're aware of yourself, you're aware of other people and you know when people hurt you or they do something, it comes from their own pain and their own suffering. So you stop reacting to that. And when you stop reacting to that, you stop creating suffering for yourself. And that's just like one little benefit of it. So just start meditating Mimi and anybody else who is watching, it will totally change your life and make it so much better. I practice Vipassana meditation. I've done a 10 day silent meditation retreat. It's pretty crazy. I've talked about it in previous videos, but if you don't know what that is, or if you don't want to go on a silent meditation retreat, there's apps that you can use, which have um, guided meditations. Some that I can recommend is Calm and Headspace. There's lots more. You can do your own research, of course. These are the ones that I know are great and can get you started on meditation. You are in charge of your life. That is right. Stop waiting for somebody to come into your life and save you because it's not gonna happen. You have to save yourself. If you wanna start a business, you have to start it. If you wanna lose weight, go find out how to lose weight and freaking do it. If you wanna quit your job, quit. If you wanna get a new job, go look for it. If you wanna enroll in school, find a way to do it. If you wanna quit your school because you hate it, do it. You have to stop waiting for your boyfriend, your parents, your husband, your sister, siblings, grandma, whoever it is, to come and change your life for you because it's not going to happen. You are the only person in charge of your life. It's not anybody else's responsibility but yours to make it better. So start living your life now. It's all up to you. There's no dress rehearsal. This is it, you know, action, go. Like this is your life. There's no second chances. You gotta make it better and you're in charge and you can do it. Validate yourself. And this is actually something that I'd say I'm naturally good at, but I got even better with years. I think this is something I struggled with a little bit when I was younger because when we're teenagers, a lot of us are a bit more insecure, but as we go through life, we usually become more secure because we have more life experiences. You have to find time in your day to validate yourself. And what I mean by that is appreciate yourself because we're all so good at judging ourselves all day long. Oh, look at you, you did this wrong. Look at you, that's not, that's bad, that's that. You know, there's always, we'll always find things to complain about ourselves or judge ourselves about. But how about seeing the good things that we do all day long as well? So here's a way to retrain yourself and actually instead of focusing on the bad, every day look at some things. You can journal about it, you can just start your day with it with some positive affirmations if you want to. But start looking at all the things that you're doing right and literally pat yourself on the shoulder. Sometimes give yourself a hug. Honestly, the other day I was laughing at Alex because I'm like, I'm giving myself a hug. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, that's great, you should. Just give yourself a hug and be like, you know what? You're so strong. Like, I really admire you for that. Or whatever compliment it is that you wanna give yourself. But stop waiting for other people's validation because that is insecurity. And you just have to accept that. In order to be secure, you have to do it for yourself. If you depend on others to validate you or give you security, you will never be independent. In order to become independent, you have to validate yourself. So learn to appreciate yourself by spending every day some time on validating yourself and giving yourself some compliments. This is actually not something I put down on my list but I just thought of it and I'm like how did I not think of it earlier? Don't ever settle down. This is in general but especially when it comes to men or women or whoever you choose to be with. Don't settle down because you can find exactly what you're looking for if you truly believe in it and if you set out that intention and you go out there in the world obviously you can't sit at home and, and expect to meet your perfect match so you have to get out there but do not settle down I always believed in that and I found exactly what I was looking for actually even more than I ever wished for so I will say to you my younger self keep that attitude strong and don't ever settle down for anything worse than you believe you deserve Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
your body is your temple no scratch that it's not your temple it's your home because you actually live in your home you don't live in a temple your energy or your soul whatever you believe in lives in this body which is your home so you got to take care of your home right because whatever you go your home is there and it's important that you take care of it work out eat healthy don't put junk into your body don't abuse your body take care of it take care of your home because if you want to have a long healthy life then you got to take care of this home <laughs> Gratitude is a light out of darkness and this is something I learned a few years ago and honestly my life has shifted into a completely different more positive gear as soon as I've discovered this and I remember Oprah talking about this like years ago probably about like 10 years ago and she said you know if you ever feel down if you ever feel anxious or miserable just grab a journal and write and write down five things you're grateful for and I remember doing it at the moment because I was having one of those like super low moments and just like feeling like shit about myself and I picked up a journal and I started writing this and as I was starting to write it like I remember the moment I remember exactly where I was in my room I remember like becoming conscious that I felt better and I was like whoa this does work and you know one of the products that Alex and I and our friend UJ created is this five minute journal that's why I use it every day literally it's here not because of this video but it's here on the bedside table is the five minute journal because it allows me to actually practice this thing because we all know that gratitude is great and like honestly I listen to so many books these days and everyone stresses the importance of gratitude how it improves your life and makes you more happier makes you more present about life about more optimistic in your life it's not just about understanding it obviously because we all know lots of things it's about practicing it daily and that's why I use the five minute journal you don't need a five minute journal to use it just use any journal and everyday journal things that you're grateful for and especially if you're in a dark place it truly 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 works and takes you out of the darkness into the light because there's always in any dark situation in any dark moment if you sit down and think about your situation you will always find something or someone to be grateful for don't get attached to things or people I know this is a hard one to swallow because we live in a very materialistic world we are material like it's solid <laughs> things are solid but I am very conscious and aware and I became aware of this years ago that this is part of a real world but it's also not all that there is so as much as this world is important and we can appreciate it it's important to understand that you know we can't get attached to anything and anyone we can enjoy things and we can enjoy people of other companies but ultimately we don't own anything or anyone ever even if we own it on paper we don't own any of it when we leave this world we can't take any of it with us and that's something my grandma actually used to say can't take any of it with you when you leave this world and that's something I always remind myself is that I can enjoy things and I can enjoy people but ultimately my own relationship with myself is the most important one because we come into this world alone and we leave this world alone and, and I know it sounds a bit sad but actually it's important to realize this because that is the reality we can observe in this world and that's why it is important to focus on what's important the most is our own relationship and our own inner joy and then bring that into the world as well and enjoy the material things enjoy the other people but understand that you don't own anything so don't get attached to things or people because that only causes suffering okay this is a really important one you are the average of your five friends right now stop wherever you are in your life and think about five people you spend the most of your time with these better be people whose company you love and enjoy because if you don't why the heck are you still spending time with them <laughs> it's better to honestly just be alone and read some amazing books and watch some amazing people of people you enjoy rather than waste your time on people that you don't enjoy so that's something I'm very conscious about when I make friends or when I spend time with people that's why I'm always very very conscious who I spend my time with and I think everyone should especially you watching and I'm gonna finish this video with the most important one if you stuck through the whole video you're getting the brownie points and it is self-belief believe in yourself I know it sounds very simple but you have to truly fake it 
until you make it and you can fake it believe me i've been doing this for years if you look around into this world at all the successful people in this world who've achieved anything that most people admire it's not the people who are the smartest or more talented or the only difference in these people are the fact that they believe in their crazy ideas <laughs> or they believe in their talents or whatever it is that they have to share with this world so i remember reading this quote years ago and i thought i didn't get it at the time it took me like years to get it but it said whether you believe you can or you believe you can't you're right and I read it and I was like, okay, I get it, but I didn't get it. It took me years to get this quote. And when I got it, I was like, whoa, it's so true. And what this quote talks about is the self-belief. If you believe you can, you are right. And you will be able to do whatever it is that you want to do. If you think you can't, you are also right. You will not be able to do it because you don't believe in yourself. And everything, everything in life starts with self-belief. So please, please please believe in yourself because i believe in yourself <laughs> why am i getting so emotional <laughs> and don't let anyone anyone tell you otherwise believe in yourself because you're made out of love and you have so much gifts to share with this world. I don't know why I'm getting emotional, it's kind of silly, but it is the truth that I'm speaking and I hope wherever you are in your life, you find the strength to believe in yourself. Tune everything and everyone out. You've got it, okay? Believe in yourself, I love you, and I'm gonna go wipe my tears away because I don't know what's going on with me. All the hormones. <laughs> I love you guys. So this is it, this is it. I love you. Bye.